This reserve more than most is tricking me with uh, albinos. You'll see something that looks like it's hunched over off in the distance. It looks like an albino animal. Ooh. Oh, I thought... You guys know what I thought that was there? From a distance? I thought that was a melanistic puma uh, mountain lion. My heart sank then. I thought we'd found one. Uh, oh. I find one on stream. I wasn't kidding when they said this is bear country. Look at it. I think I might have to scare them off. If I take another hit, that might be all she wrote. Go down, bear. All right, I think I just grazed her. She'll be all right. Let's keep it moving. I'm sure I don't need to remind you. This is bear country. Sure, they're normally quick to turn tail and run, but they're extremely aggressive if their cubs are nearby. It's time for maximum caution. Are we going to get a pissed off bear when I get too close to a cub? Are we going to see bear cubs? Oh. God, why, why I wouldn't give for this game to have predator-prey interaction right now. See something like that? Where you got a mule deer moving in, and then all you hear is a bear take it down because that's actually a, a mechanic in the game. God damn, that would be so sick. What is that? <laughs> is that an air horn? That's some big horn. I won't fire yet. I'm looking to see if anything's attached to a tree. What's that over there? Turkey flying over us. Oh, oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. What are you? You're a level three. <laughs> He's coming out of nowhere. Oh, yeah, that's definitely getting louder. Oh, we got a four there. If he gives me that side shot, I'm taking it. And go down. All right, let's find out what... What is that? Oh my god, those things are so fast. Look at him go. <laughs> oh, here we go. It's like a horn or something. Yep. An air horn app. I've heard of people trying to scare away bears and cougars with real life air horns. Personally... I've never really trusted using sound to scare off a bear. Not permanently, at least. Yeah, I wouldn't either. Well, that's the contact number I had for her. Cell phone service can be really poor out there, though. Still, she was here. Check out the bear markings on that tree. I'll go back and check him in a sec. Nice little four. Something special with the fur. That sells a nice little quick gold. Proper ammo type. Just over a hundred. We'll take it. Go see these bear marks. It's leading me this way. Oh, oh. <laughs> Seven mil. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. You're not getting away from that. Not taking the chance with these things. You just saw how fast they were. All right, what do we get? Grumpy they look as well. <laughs> you imagine if it held. 3.7. This one's a little bit broken. A bear. Be careful. Where? Oh. Oh, I 
I thought I got a heart on that straight away. Do I have to follow her? Did I just whiff that? So is that going to be a theme of these missions? They're just going to have random animals coming in. I know you can handle a black bear, but that doesn't make it okay. Dad would never have put his people in this position. I have to be smarter. It just seems like every problem lands at once, you know? I'm trying to improve the reserve, but things keep getting in the way. Look, I'm really grateful that you've been able to help me out. If it had been me out there, things could have gone a lot worse. The important thing is Baden's safety, right? Are there any signs of where she went? Nothing. And also, how loud was that phone? Because I legitimately thought it was an air horn. There we go. Those look like fresh footprints. She made it out of there, heading west. Still... Now she has no phone and no water bottle. Heading west. So she's got no phone, no water bottle. Why would she drop a phone with an... Oh, maybe she was fighting something off. Alright, well that one's done. I think we'll pick up Barden a little bit later on. He said that she was heading west. The tracks were going down this way, though. Not far from where you are, we have the old funicular railway. It's pretty big. And it's a tourist attraction. If Baden sees it, then maybe she'll head towards it to look for help. At the bottom of the track, there's an old shed that she could try to shelter close to. It's not much, but it's a start. Given how badly things have gone for her so far, I can only hope that she's not still planning to climb a mountain. I'm going to give the accountants another call at the hospital. See if they can't help us work out where her head is at. Arden was the one that just ventured off, wasn't it? With the uh, the yoga instructor group. Oh, wait. Bear spray. Looks like someone forgot their bear deterrent. Mind you, if you're caught unaware, it might not help. I'll never forget the time I was hunting elk with a group of friends and a 1,200 pound grizzly came in hot from 30 yards out. Came in hot. Some of us had bear spray, but the wind was too strong to use it. The only reason we made it out alive is because the bear got confused when all six of us split up. It was like something out of a movie. That's Remy, right? I'm guessing that was a legit story, too, from Remy. That's kind of creepy, though. Reminds me of uh, Slender the Eight Pages kind of building. Silver Rise Funicular Railway. Oh, okay, it's a railway stop. What the hell? Looks like the bears have been using the shed as a latrine and a scratching post. I'm meant to be taking a potential investor to tour the reserve this week. She cannot see this. Baden's not here. There's no sign of her. And I still can't get through to the accountants. They've left the hospital and don't have their cell phones. Can you put the shed back together and tidy things up a bit? I hate to do this, but there's no way I'm going to make it out there before the tour. Oh. What's all this? Is this bear shit? It might be from a bear, but why would they come here? Alright, let's fix the door up. Thanks. It's probably still gonna smell pretty bad, but at least it's not covered in bear scat. I don't see bears tearing that off. Bears tend to stay away from humans, and we never kept anything that would attract them inside that shed. Are there any tracks nearby? The place looked fine when I was here last week. I know they're not going to do anything stupid that's going to put them in danger and stuff. That's why they tend to stay away from people. But I thought they would be curious to try and find food. That's unexpected. What is? The public don't tend to drive to the funicular. And if it was one of the staff, they'd use quad bikes. This looks like it was left by a car or a truck. I think someone has vandalized our property. It doesn't make a lot of sense, though. Why would anyone come all the way out here to do this? Maybe bored teenagers? I pulled some stupid pranks when I was young, but none involved ferrying around a bunch of bear scat. Given that this has happened to the shed, I'm a little worried about the railway itself. It's a unique tourist site, over a hundred years old. It 
it leads all the way up to Prosperity, the reserve's ghost town. It used to be home to the miners who came out here during the Silver Rush. Ooh. I think it's a little creepy. But tourists like it. Would you check the track out, please? Hell yeah. I would feel a lot better knowing it's okay. You know what? I was going to change the time because it's like 6 p.m. now, but I've got a feeling this is going to get a little bit creepy. So let's just roll with it. Let's just keep it this time of day. Let me grab the ATV, though. Where did I leave that? Over there to the left. It's broken. Torn up? As in removed? Oh, How it did has. They even... It's just been ripped out of the ground. Gone. This would have taken a crew and equipment. This isn't teenagers with too much time on their hands. This is the sabotage of one of our irreplaceable attractions. I need some pictures. I'm going to send them to the police. So what's happened here then? Because that looks like it's just been... Oh, maybe it's... Oh. That to me looks like there's parts missing. Maybe it is. I don't know. Right. So there's somebody sabotaging the track. Photograph the damaged track. Got you. I'm on hold with the sheriff's go. office. Then I think I need to call my dad. Since it appears that someone is trying to sabotage the reserve, I need you... Hello. Yes. Sheriff Cole, please. I need you to head up to the ghost town and see if they've done any damage there. I'll check in later. Jerry. Hey. Thanks for picking up so fast. Did he say ghost town? Oh, hell yeah. Here we go. They've been here as well. Damn it. They've gone from vandals to poachers and mindless animal killers. This is escalating so quickly. Who would possibly want to do this? Some disgruntled former staff member? Uh, my dad and I haven't had any trouble with any of our staff, past or present. Can you take a look around? I want to know just how much damage these guys have done. If you find an animal, take a picture and send it my way, please. Okay, so we got a few animals here. I've actually seen the results of this, unfortunately, in real life. I'll save this for the police. Thanks. The whole poaching stuff it was kind of by accident as well that was in africa and it, it's just heartbreaking oh okay somebody doesn't like hunting somebody's against it another one oh there we go how long did this take them i wonder wait so there's more there is more is that the last of them Hopefully this is the only place. Was that a door opening? No, nope, it was somebody running. Here? Be careful. We know they're armed. It's horrible. Those sounds like animals dying. End hunting now. What? Is this some kind of activist? I don't buy it. I know we hunt animals, but making a quick, clean kill is paramount for us. Take a picture of the text and send it over. This was... something else. Needless cruelty. All to send us a message. What do I just mountain lions, though? Got the photograph. I'll save it with the others. How the hell has this happened? How did we go from thinking this was kids being a nuisance to armed poachers killing and torturing animals? The deputy sheriff is on her way over now. Listen, I don't think it's best for you to be chasing these people down now. They're armed, and they don't seem to care much for ethics or responsibility. I'd like you to get out of there, and the police will take over. I don't want to though. I want to go up there. I really, really want to go. I'm going to do it. I want to adventure up that side. There, there looks like there's some cool stuff around this area as well. And I really want to know where that goes to because that's the end of the there reserve. There is actually one place where it's hopefully safe to send you. Where you might find something that can help us. These people seem to know exactly how to hurt us. They've targeted our unique tourist spots and our animals. 
There's a fossil excavation site that I was planning to show our investor as well. It's abandoned just now as the college ran out of funding for the dig last year, but we've been keeping it safe for when they come back. It's basically just a shed and a hole, but it represents a good opportunity to interact with the local community and college. Tourists don't go there, but it's a big part of raising the reserve's profile in a way that doesn't involve hunting. Can you head over there and make sure everything is still locked up and secure? Since the sheriff's office are all discussing what's been going on up here, it turns out that they've been sharing notes. One of the deputies actually pulled over a truck just outside the reserve. The truck was hauling a short chunk of rail track and two big heavy railway sleepers. Turns out the driver runs some kind of historical museum out in Arizona. He claims someone called Mr. Green reached out to him and offered him a chance to take home some historic railroad. Mr. The Green? driver was confused, but was keen to grab a piece of gold rush history, so he drove out to retrieve a piece yesterday. Said that he and his son had to cut it out with a saw and lift it with a crane. He had receipts for the whole plant rental and everything. Obviously, we had nothing to do with this exchange. So the question becomes, who on earth is Mr. Green? The cops were going to ask me about it, but the guy was adamant that it had all been signed off by this Mr. Green. They just tried calling his number, and it's not recognized. They're going to get in touch with the truck driver and get back to me. What about the tool shed? They left an inventory, but there wasn't much in there. Just some digging tools and a rock saw. Check the shed. Some footsteps. Wait, what now? Homo sapiens, but <laughs> are they wearing pronghorn masks? What's going on? Let me in. I knew it. Of course they've been here as well. They've taken something. The rock saw is missing. I looked them up and they're like $500 brand new. This one was used and old. I doubt it's worth much. It was pretty heavy too. Have a look around. I wonder if they drove up here to get it. Why would they stash it though if they've look around for tracks? Oh, okay. I thought they he was talking about he tried to stash away this rock saw or whatever it was. Why is it not taking it? What's going on? Why is it not working? Oh, and the and tire tracks. Where's the tire tracks? Okay, I think this one in front of the human tracks. I think this one might be a little bit balked. Let's select that one so we're on that. And then go straight ahead in front of the human tracks. Oh my lord, what do you mean? Oh my lord, where? Where have I missed it? Literally nothing here. Chat. Photograph the footprints and the tire tracks. There are no tire tracks. Right there. These I've took photographs of these. They didn't work. Oh, look at that. It didn't work. There are no tire tracks. If you're talking about this stuff here, is that what it's that what it means? This stuff? There's no way they're tire tracks. The indentations are not deep enough. They're not tire tracks. There's no way those are tire tracks. I don't care what anybody says. No, I'm not having it, chat. No, I'm not looking at it. No, I'm walking away. I'm pissed. No, they're not tire tracks. So you guys are telling me that those two lines there, let me grab my gun. You guys are telling me this thing here and this thing here are supposed to be the tracks up to that road, right? Here we go. I've rounded up a few people to help, but I've got a gate I need you to lock up. First thing you'll need to do is grab a padlock. I keep one in the closest lookout tower to the gate. Once you're inside, look for a locker. If the criminals are still in the reserve, we should do everything we can to lock them in. <laughs> They're gonna lock them in? There's a padlock for the barricade inside a nearby tower. Grab it and lock the gate. Oh no, is it invisible or... We just gotta find it. You've got the padlock? Okay. Your GPS will show you where to find the right gate. We're almost there. The other roads are all locked down. Just your gate left to close. One of my friends says he arrived at his gate just as a truck was leaving. 
He recorded the license plate, though. The deputy's gonna take a look. Okay, close and lock the gate. So where is the gate from here, though? Okay, so it's just at the end of the road. So they're actually gonna trap him inside while, while they go looking for him. That'd actually be a cool scenario, wouldn't it? Like, imagine if you heard that on the news. There's some criminals that have been causing all kinds of problems in a reserve, so they've just they've just locked them in with the wild animals and the police. Oh my god! It's not really gonna keep it's not really gonna keep anything out. Great work. If the criminals are still inside the reserve, they're gonna need to go off road to escape. I feel better. The police are working with us now, and we have taken steps to get things back on track. The deputies share my suspicions about this being the work of animal rights activists. Oh, uh, there we go. Sure, we get the odd email from time to time. A few years ago, my dad narrowly avoided having red paint thrown all over him by someone who had come looking for trouble. There's a group called the Activists for the Protection of Animal Rights, APAR. They've sent us some letters in the past. Thing is, it's been all calm on that front recently. And if you want to target, why us? We're not high profile. <laughs> Until recently, that was my biggest problem. Plus... The sounds on that tape will be with me for a while. I don't think the person who recorded them is likely to be sensitive to animal rights. One thing I do know is that this lockdown is going to hurt us. People will talk. And I know that there are people on the board who are already considering replacing me. Nothing smaller than this. Wait. Is it stuck? If it's stuck, then... Don't fly away, don't fly away, don't fly away. Oh, yes. You got the stupid turkey. Don't go anywhere, stay there. You better not have flown off. Oh no, you didn't. It's got to be the dumbest turkey of all time. Here we go. And go down. Reload her up. Imagine if that bear came in now. I'm getting my turkey. All right, I wanted to get a decent shot of one of these. Look at the detail on it. You can see the splatter as well on the outside of that wing. Stain the feathers. Got ourselves another gold. I don't think I've got anything higher than that. 4.3 so far. And I don't think I've come across any threes that though you're not escaping that face neck chest shins elbows everything all right guys so i think this is where we're going to end it was actually really really cool to have you guys involved in the live stream while we took on the missions for the very first time and even though they're a little bit broken right now i'm being told they are going to be fixed but either way it was still really cool if you guys want to be part of the live streams link is always in the description well thank you so much for watching thank you so much for your support and i'll see you all in the next one.